good morning children welcome back with the next new session so in this session we are going to uh, have a quick revision for the lesson that we have already discussed it so the lesson that today we are discussing is lesson number 5 Uh, early life to settle life from six standard textbook early life to settle life from six standard textbook so previously uh, at the beginning of the academic year we have discussed this lesson already with the name of gathering food to growing food okay but both the lessons are same just the lesson name has been changed into the new textbook okay so the lesson today we are discussing is from six standard textbook lesson number 5 early life to settle life okay then so uh, firstly thousands of years ago the people who lived in the subcontinent were called hunters and gatherers that means people who used to live in the interior parts of a country or interior parts of every state interior means inside okay so these people are known as hunters and gatherers hunters and gatherers so what who these people are these people are usually the people who used to live in into the jungles who used to live into the deep forest okay so they they work is to just hunt the animals and gather the food and this is how they used to spend their uh, livelihood okay then the name uh, the name hunters and gatherers came from the way in which they got their food okay so the name uh, that they got as hunters and gatherers is they work as well as their uh, their activity as well as how how uh, do they gather the food this is uh, because of the activity what they do because of that only the name has come hunters and gatherers then the hunting and gathering food was not easy to do by experience they understood how to hunt and gather the food so hunting and gathering of food for at the beginning it was not an easy task for them slowly slowly they could experience one and the other and so on they understood the concept of hunting and gathering of food then they moved from place to place in search of food and to make their survival okay so these people that means people who move from one place to another are known as nomads or nomadic life that means people who move from one place to another are known as nomads and the life is known as nomadic life so why do they hunt why do they move from one place to another in search of food they used to go from they used to move from one place to the another okay so uh so uh, for this survival that means to survive that means to live they sh they should eat something isn't it for eating they have to hunt something to hunt they have to go to different parts of the place in the jungle okay so next later they discovered fire and understood how to cook okay so once they could uh, they have uh, hunted the animal that means killed the animal gathered the food and then they started then they understood that this and uh, these animal whatever they have hunted has to be cooked okay without cooking if they eat it raw it's it's, it's not a it's uh, it, it is may not be a correct way so we we should uh, we should roast it into the fire and then we have to eat it so from there they understood the usage of fire also okay just rubbing two stones that you already you have uh, heard from your previous uh, classes okay that early early mans have uh, taken two big uh, like two big stones rubbed with each other after rubbing sparks have come and from there the fire has come so this is how these people like early people have used the fire to cook their food then we know uh, we know about these people from some of the tools found yes we do not we have never seen these people how like how thousands and thousand years ago how these people used to live isn't it but whatever that remainings were there are been all found by the people known as archaeologist is isn't it we have already discussed who is an archaeologist an archaeologist is a person who searches as well as had a great knowledge about the historical things about the things which are belong to the prehistorical period or historical period okay so all their rem remaining that means whatever are whatever the things that these people used to use so those things were already found and uh, after finding them these people like archaeologists they could explain that so and so um, thing is of so and so uh, place of jungles like uh, the early people used to live in the forest as well as in the jungles isn't it then how many years back this thing was used why why what is the use of this thing everything this archaeologists have a great explanation as well as they had a great knowledge about all these things then um, the belum caves in uh, in karnul district gives us 
a lot of information about the early man so there was a cave known as belam caves in karnul so it has a lot of remainings about the early man and that can give us a lot of information if you ever be to karnul please just go to these caves known as belam caves there you will find a lot of things that have been uh, exhibited there you can find whatever the early man in those days what these people have used okay then the rock painting done by the hunters and gatherers also give us information about their early life okay so uh, these people used to uh, paint or you can say they they used to make small kind of a diagrams on the walls of the caves okay and they used to use the uh, colors in like they don't have any colors that we we people are having now so the colors what they used to is vegetable colors or they used to um, thus grind any kind of a rock okay so whatever the color used to come they used to just make a small, like little paste like a thick paste with a include like adding little bit of water to that fine powder and then they used to paint it okay so help with the colors as well as they have made some symbols they have drawn some symbols on the walls of the caves and so on they have given information and this is the only way they used to con- uh, they used to communicate in those days then more than 12000 years ago the world has started becoming warmer this was the beginning of the transformation of the life of the early man to farming from herding okay so uh, it it's been some 12000 years ago like the earth has started becoming warm so why what what is the reason of becoming warm that means the cold ice caps are all melted that means the coolness is been reduced as well as the people started living when the people started living it it st- the globe or the earth started getting heat so sl- slowly slowly when the earth started getting heat it helps for the it helped plants to grow there because the process of photosynthesis has started now when the sunrise fall on the earth okay so the plants uh, start the process of photosynthesis and from there on the plant started growing so once the plant started growing these people understood that so these plants particular plants which they they can eat okay for example any vegetable plants or any uh, like uh, grains like wheat barley okay all these kinds of uh, whole grains what they can cultivate okay so they understood they started cultivating from there on okay then in course of time the early man understood how to grow the plants how to rear animals and how to lead and settle life so time to time so they understood how to how to start uh, growing any crops okay after growing the crops so when the crops are being grown they did not move from any place so they have settled in a particular place so that their land is not been used by any other person so once the cultivation is all finished then they used to collect the Uh, food grains and they used to store it into the caves so this is how they understood that they have to settle in one place rather than moving from place to place so after uh, in, uh, after the uh, discovery of fire they understood that fire can be used for um, cooking the food as well as it helps the uh, it helps these people to uh, prevent uh, from the animals attack at the night time okay the slowly these people have understood one by one over the time then to clear the forest they developed new kinds of stones tools which are called neolithic stones stone tools this period is a uh, this period of early agriculture is known as neolithic period okay so for example as our f- present farmers what they use they use axe they use sickle they use plow all they are they are different kind of instruments okay these people use so in those days also the early men even they have used same kind of an uh, like uh, instruments okay which are made of rocks okay so they used to give uh, they used to select a proper size of rock they used to give it a proper sharp edges to it they used to tie it to the a uh, wooden uh, wooden log or maybe to the bone and then they used to use the instrument there so that stone is known as neolithic stone and the period when these uh, these stones were used so this period is known as neolithic period neolithic period that means the time when these these kind of stones were used that period is known as neolithic period then during the late neolithic period neolithic age people made over technologies and advancements so slow and slowly these people when they were using this uh, neolithic when the neolithic age was going these people understood what uh, what are the other techniques we can use what are the other technologies or what are the uh, any other new changes we can bring from the agriculture then during the bronze age four the four of the great valley civilization of mesopotamia egypt india and china has emerged okay during the bronze age that means when this uh, stone ages were all complete stone age means what using using of stone is known as stone age then 
the next is age is known as that means the next people have started using bronze metal okay so whatever things they use they um, from agriculture right from uh, making of uh, uh, like uh, using of any of vessels that they use every day so everything was made of bronze the jewelry that they make everything was in bronze so that age is known as bronze age when the bronze age was started so four valleys were also been started so they were mesopotamia is it india and china are the four countries or the four valleys these like four valleys were been also starting during the period of bronze age okay so children this was all about the lessons quick recap of lesson number 5 early life to settle life which was previously taught with the name of gathering food to growing food okay i hope you understood this part of revision section very well we'll meet up in the next upcoming session with the next new revision lesson for any more doubts and queries please ask us immediately we'll meet up in the next upcoming class till then bye children thank you have a nice day